Unbelievable. I'm gonna fall out of this thing. What's up y'all, this is Nugget Noggin. Today I'm down here in Arkansas to do some metal detecting at the Kadoha Treasure Fest. This is an amazing metal detecting event. They have thousands of treasures to be found out in the fields behind me. There is tokens that you can redeem for prizes. They have all kinds of cool amazing artifacts that you can win, as well as natural stuff to find in the ground. There's silver coins, Civil War artifacts, you name it. And we have hundreds of people out there today. And so we're going to get to metal detecting, see what we can find, and it's going to be a great hunt. Y'all, so I'm just now getting ready to get my detector and I'm going to go out there and see if I can find some stuff. Everybody is kind of scattered out. This right here is the kids area where the kids can go detect. There's arrowheads and coins and stuff planted. But that field behind us there, there's all kinds of stuff to find. And you can see there's people scattered out. So let's go out here and see what we can find. <laughs> we have Brandon over here. What's going on, man? What's up? So Brandon's hosting the Kadoha Treasure Fest. What do you have to say? I'm just glad you're here. Glad everybody's here. And uh, if you guys have never been to Kadoha Treasure Fest, uh, you can join Arkansas History Unearthed on Facebook. And I have lots of updates for upcoming hunts and uh, information about all the prizes and different things like that. So it's going to be great. There's going to be one in October, right? October, October 23rd and 24th of this year, 2021. So y'all heard it from the man himself. If you missed out on this hunt, we'll see y'all in October. Y'all can sign up below because you don't want to miss out. I mean, look at all these prizes, y'all. Like, there's thousands of arrowheads and coins and all kinds of stuff. I'll give you all a close up here in a second, but just incredible the amount of prizes that they're going to be giving away at this event. Check this out though. What is it called? An effigy? It's an effigy and, bowl. Yeah. Like a duck or a bird or something on there. I don't know. But all kinds of Native American stuff. And this location actually has some Indian mounds that I'll have to show you all here in a minute. So really historic location, but you're not allowed to dig for the Indian artifacts. <laughs> That's awesome, y'all. Look at all that. So we're out here swinging in the field now. All kinds of coins and Civil War artifacts out here. So see if we can get on to something. It's right here, buddy. Just right there, a little bit off. It's right there in that little piece. Oh, oh man, what is that? Hold it out. That's cool. It's like a, it looks like a lipstick case or something. It's definitely something, some type of relic. Mm -hmm. Good find, man. Good Thank find. You. Yeah, let's dig this. It's kind of shallow, so it could be a piece of trash, but it's got to be aluminum foil. Yep, what'd I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> You never know. Let's keep on going. I don't know if y'all can hear that one, but pretty loud signal. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a token. <laughs> <laughs> so my first good find, the first hole I dug was a piece of trash and now this is a token. So we'll have to see what it is. Might have to give it away. If it's something good, I'll give it to someone else. But this is what you're looking for. And uh, this is what a lot of the others are looking for out here. When you find these tokens, you can go up and get it exchanged for actual prize. It could be an arrowhead. A Civil War bullet, a bottle, you never know. It could be a gold coin. So if you find one of these tokens, it's a good sign. I got another good signal here. Might be a bullet, like a Civil War bullet. Oh, I see it right here. Yep, it's a musket ball. A little musket ball or a little pistol ball. Let's go get some more. So I just dug this buckle here, and turns out it's a natural find. It's a pretty old iron buckle, maybe um, 1800s. It's pretty cool right down here by this swamp right there y'all check that out probably a gator in that a green water that's the old river channel i want to keep hunting in this area there could be some really old coins or something yeah could be that's nice all right y'all so this signal here is showing up in the 80s like an 89 to a 90. has a little bit of a chop to it but man it's still a good signal might be a half dollar that'd be crazy that's a good hit don't see it i bet it's in the plug Yep. Oh, oh. oh, man. It is a Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> I told you it sounded like a half dollar, but it's better than a half dollar, y'all. Look at that. Morgan Silver Dollar. Just walked out here and found it. That thing is in beautiful shape, too. Now, it was put here for the hunt, but still, just to go out and find it, it's crazy. The fact I swung over it. 1900s a year on that one. Beautiful shape. Man. I'm tickled. <laughs> That's a great find. I'm so excited, y'all. That's why you got to come out to these hunts because you're missing out. There's so much stuff that's been buried in the ground. Thousands of silver coins, all kinds of relics, plus there's prizes too. And this is just part of it, the benefits. Awesome. Couple of mercs. I got a walking. And you're doing good. 
I got a Morgan. Oh, man, you got a Morgan. Look at 1885. Buffalo. I got a wiped barber right there. Man, you're having a killer day. <laughs> Couple of tokens. I like that. Is that a musket ball? It's huge. Yeah. It's nice. So I just located a good signal here, about a 70. I'm saying it's a Civil War bullet. Let's see. Oh, you see where they put it in there. <laughs> little, little slot in the ground. There it is, y'all. <laughs> nice fired bullet. All right. All right, y'all, so here's a close-up of the arrowheads I won. And there's the Morgan dollar I found earlier. Well, y'all, it is day two of the event. Getting ready to go out detecting. We have a new field today. We have Brandon pulling in right now. I'm probably follow behind him and go out there and get all of our gear ready. You can see people getting geared up right now. They got their detectors. Here they go, y'all. <laughs> yeah, whenever. <laughs> <laughs> get detecting all right y'all so first signal of the hunt day two here really good hit right right here 94 93 i mean it could be a barber half dollar or something but it sounds like a morgan that is a good hit it's got to be silver oh i think i see it i see it sticking out i see it sticking out look at that ah oh, what is that First find of the day, first signal. Oh, it's a oh, it's a peace dollar. That's better. Oh, hey, that's yeah. nice. 1923. Still exciting. <laughs> so second signal of the day here, right in the plug. I think it's gonna be a token. Look at that. Four, one seven. Huh? Maybe we want something good. Pretty shallow. So, all right. Let's keep on going and see what else we can get. So I have another really good signal here. I'm pretty sure it's a bullet. It sounds just like a Civil War bullet. Ringing in about 69, 70. So we're gonna dig this. Let's see what it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right there. <laughs> that is a Civil War bullet, y'all. That's awesome. It's out here. Hey, how y'all doing? I got one token. You got three. Really? Well, I like that shirt. Thanks. It's a nice shirt. Nice hat, too. And this is a huge field. Stuff's just scattered. Yeah. So uh, just keep your coal low to the ground and keep swinging. Yep. All right, I'll see you around, man. See you around, too. Oh, check this out. Look at that skeleton key that was just found. Is that iron? Yeah, that's iron, but that's amazing. But look at here. Beautiful. Look at that 1K. Oh, wow. You got a 1K token? Don't tell people. Oh, sorry. I'm so loud. Never mind. You didn't. Yeah. <laughs> She won a thousand dollars, y'all. All right, y'all. So Ben was out there detecting, and he found the nugget noggin token that I hid by the pond. And guess what? He won the Ace Apex. That's awesome, man. That's cool, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Hope that you enjoy so cool. it. In a minute, we'll. Uh, if you want to put it together, I'll show you how to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So this is my new no detecting technique for searching a huge field where you know there's a lot of stuff out there. Go. <laughs> drive. It was a drive. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that token at? Unbelievable. I'm gonna fall out of this thing. Land in a mud puddle. I'm getting dizzy. One of the coolest parts about this location is that there's actually some Indian mounds here from the Kadoha Indian Village site. Take a look at that down in there. So this dates back to about 800 years ago. Now those are not the original skeletons. Those are like replicas, I guess you can say. Look at that, y'all. That's how they were found back in the day when they were digging out this Indian mound. Have all the pots and bowls. Here I'll give y'all a little bit of a history tour. Just show it to you really quick. Those old pots would be awesome to find, like out creek walking or something. Here's the sign right here, a little bit of history. Y'all can freeze frame that to look at it some more. But over here we have another Indian mound that was dug into. You can see the skeletons down there and more pots and bowls. Really crazy. But the cool one over here, I really want to show y'all because you have to see what they did. It's like they had a band around their skull that they wore and it made their head a 
abnormal shape. Look at that right there, y'all. That skeleton. Watch this. Look at his skull. It's just crazy looking. Like I said, that's just a replica. That's not the real, real skeleton there. So I just got done checking out these Indian mounds here, and now I'm stuck because it's pouring down rain. Like, totally crazy out there, y'all. 